Hi and welcome to part one of my multi-part series with relation to installing Asterisk 1.8 LTS uh, with Bizadamp Field Support and HD Voice on CentOS 6. Just a quick preamble, just to give you a few bit, tidbits of information about myself. Um, I install IP, telephone systems and IT solutions for businesses worldwide all based on open source software and I do do paid um, support and consultancy you can contact, him, contact me with the name on the screen or inbox me on YouTube uh, during the video I do a lot of the work in VirtualBox um, please don't use VirtualBox, VMware etc etc for your uh, IP telephone system it won't work properly, you get audio quality problems, it won't be very reliable. Make sure you run it on a proper piece of hardware. Uh, what I'm doing here is not for a production setup, so um, just just do as I say, not as I do. Don't do it in virtualization, virtualized uh, hardware. Uh, take security extremely seriously. Uh, the default setup that I'm doing here is fairly secure but you should definitely read the readme seriously best practices text file that comes with asterisk uh, to give you a basic very basic summary um, use unusual extension names and usernames so for example don't use 100, 101, 102 because they're getting attacked um, regularly anyway um, use random passwords you don't have to put the password in ever, so it was just the one. So you use a long random string, for example. I know I don't do that here, but that's just for ease of setup. Uh, don't include in your default context anything that has outbound trunk access. And uh, that's simply because anything that falls into the default context is uh, unauthenticated. So if you allow outbound phone calls from the default context uh, of your system, anyone can make phone calls to your system um, beware of using externally populated variables in your default context um, if you're interested look in the best practices file but basically it's a bit like SQL or SQL uh, injection problems you can actually inject asterisk code inside the uh, to the dial plan um, extension variable and it will get executed as if it was actually in your extensions.com so that would be quite bad and lastly I'm not very happy about saying this but I'm making this series of videos taking me several hours probably maybe a day or so to get it all sorted out and working and I'm doing it to earn a couple of quid on YouTube while I'm not very busy doing other work if you're using Adblock Plus and you're basically cutting off that vital income stream therefore you're jeopardizing the possibilities of further videos so please if you're using it disable it and refresh this video